Welcome to a video from digitallife.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use a Windows PC or tablet as a second display to our main device. So you can see here, I'm moving this window between the two uh, screens on there. And I'm going to show you how we actually can do that. So uh, I've got a Surface laptop and a Surface Go. It doesn't have to be Surface devices, it can be any uh, Windows devices, and uh, on the same Wi Fi. And you can utilize this as a second monitor. So great if you're traveling, you need two monitors, but you don't want to use an additional monitor, you can use your little Surface Go. So I'm going to show you how we set that so up. The first thing you do, on the, we're going to look at the receiving machine, the machine that's going to be the second display. So here on the Surface Go, what you need is the Connect app, and you can uh, search for it, or you can find it there, Connect, and it'll look like this. Now, if you find that you haven't got this installed, and at some point, well, I think it was in the 1809 update of Windows 10, it's no longer default installation. I'll show you how to add it if you haven't got it. So if you haven't got, you can go to Optional Features. I've just searched for Optional Features there, and you'll see that I've got installed here wireless display. If you haven't got that installed then this won't work, you do need to manually install that. So the way to do it is just to go add a feature, search for optional um, wireless display, so I've got it installed already so it won't show it on here, but find wireless display on there and then just click add and allow that to add. I think when you finish you've got to do a reboot and then you should see it wireless display there and this is the app that goes with it. So that's the first thing. If you want a step-by-step -step guide on how to do that, I've actually got full instructions on the digitallifestyle.com, which uh, I'll include a link with this video. So that's the first part of it done. Install wireless display optional comp component and have that ready there. Um, and I've got these two devices on the same Wi-Fi as well. So let's go back to the main screen now. So I'm back now on my main device and the other device has got the connect uh, option still on the screen. So I'm going to project this across now. Uh, there's a couple of settings that uh, I'm going to show you on here. So back to here to the uh, my main device and to project to a wireless display I can do Windows K. There we go. And I don't know if you can see that through this video but it says Surface Go. So I hit on there. And then you can see this is now changing. And now that is working as a second screen. There's an, a box that comes up here, allow keyboard and mouse touch and pen input from this device. If I tick that, that means that the mouse on this device will work on this as well. So both trackpads and keyboards and mice will work on both. Okay, so that's the first part of it done. Now. There's a bit of latency, but as you see on here now, if I click start, you see that it comes up on there, if I click away. So it's not working as, an, as a second display, it's working as a primary a mirror of it, and I don't want to do that, I want to extend it. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So back here on the main display, if I go to display settings, so you can see here the display settings that I've got one and two are mirrored. If I scroll down to here, and you can see there it says duplicate these displays. I'm going to change this to extend, which I'm going to keep those changes. That's okay. Right now, if I go here, you can see that I've got monitor one on the left, monitor two on the right. If this other device was um, above it or below it or whatever, I can re you can drag this around to wherever. So I'm going to have it like that. Okay, let's apply that. So that's it, that's a nice simple way to use a Windows laptop or a tablet as a second monitor. Very handy for when you're out on the road and it's just a few simple steps to get it working. And uh, I've got more detail on the digitallifestyle.com with all the step-by-step -step instructions. If you've got any other videos you think I should look at, let me know, ian at digitallifestyle.com, at iSticks on Twitter. Thanks for watching.